Hey, yo, 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 we back once again with the True Hip Hop Podcast. It's your boy, DJ Blaze. And that guy again. Wolverine. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. Right now. But before we get started, what up, what? Oh, we making it better. We try to make the show better every single day. But you know, before we get started with the hot content, man, y'all know what y'all gotta do, man. Y'all gotta subscribe to the channel. Right now. Like. Right now. Comment. Right now. And share this video. Right now. It What's helps up? us out tremendously in the algorithm, man. I uh, mean, Wood, we appreciate all the love that y'all been Definitely giving us. Do. Y'all been watching. Some of y'all ain't been subscribing. You know, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. <laughs> right. And watch it all the way through. All the way through. And share it. <laughs> there we go. All right, man. In hip hop news, man. Yesterday, Memphis Bleak was on Uncensored Podcast. You know what I'm saying? And they was like, yo, who you want to see uh, Jay Z battle? And he was like, Nas. And he was like, man, Nas ain't got enough hits to stand up against Hove. You know what I'm saying? And, um,. This would be very interesting, man, because I went through both of their catalogs and Jay Z do have more hits. Like, it was like, when I counted it, it was like 38 to like 25, man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I yeah. can't, you can't say that though, because that's I just can't your personal. Say that. That's your personal, because you, simple fact that I won't, I like, will find like 35. Off the list, like, of this list, but, I feel like it's just a tight matchup. No, that was the songs that were popular. I don't care about the underground songs we heard on well, that shit. But all the popular hits, they both had hits, man. Major luck, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, but a lot of Jay Z uh, underground uh, stuff wasn't popular. I'm not counting like, his underground stuff because he didn't have much underground stuff that was popping like that with Jazzo. He didn't have no that much. none of them songs. I, I'm starting from Reasonable Doubt. From that, but he got like seven songs on there. It he was can written, do, uh, and it was written. Know? He got it's like seven songs on there. Right, that's what and I'm saying. I say it's going to be. It will be a tight fight. Memphis said that he think only person in bang <clears throat> with him was Big. Right, but right. I, you can't say that because Big didn't have a catalog. Rest in peace, Big. But it's by this of, time, Big would have. Yeah, you know he would have, and yeah. it would have been. It, it would have been that's big. That's what Bleak was saying. He only can battle somebody on that level. He trying to say Nas ain't on Jay Z level by that statement. But Nas, I mean Jay Z, bit a lot of big tracks. He so did. So you cannot sit up there and say, okay, all these, a lot of those tracks would have went to big. He couldn't battle big with his own verse in his own <laughs> verses. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's nah, no way. So he wasn't seeing big. He wasn't yeah, seeing big. And then the same token, I say with Nas ordeal, he can't battle Nas with Big's lyrics. And a lot I'm of saying, but came. some of them, but the records I count was none of that though, and it was actually 38 records. And you know, none Nas, but Nas, Nas, Nas got some shit too. He gonna come out there, man, with the Illmatic album. It was written album, Stillmatic album. You know, he gonna hit Jay hard too. Nas gonna but perform better than Jay. They put. Man, they both good performers, man. man they both don't rap over their rhymes. They both do it right, live. Right, right, right. You know, and right. that's what I love. Y'all got to do y'all shit live. We was at the show in Holland the other day. Everybody rapping over their words, man. You not a true artist if you rap over your, your words. Period. Like, you got to do That's what we come to a concert, a show for, I is to hear. see you rap. Right, rap your lyrics. <laughs> rap. I can play the shit in the car and man. hear that. You know, y'all got to stop doing it, man. But shout outs to real hip hop legends like Jay-Z and Nas who really rap they shit man. song for song, word for word, for 30, 40 songs in a night and man. don't forget nothing. Sweat and that joint. Y'all ain't too cool to sweat. Yeah. They, they, they lyrics is so tight. They don't want, they just want to do the ad libs. Remember the shit we watched with Nas and man, AZ they was when they was doing wrong, the Illmatic wrong, album? They wrong, was going uncut, hard. Uncut. Yeah. Uncut. And no, the, and no, uh, the ad libs was mainly faded in the background. You well, heard they uh, the, um, DJ Premier was doing the ad libs. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. Right, right. So there was no cheating. cheating. <laughs> you can't rap over your words, y'all man. Stop that, perform that, man. that joint, man. Yeah, that is whack, man. 
For real, man. perform that shit for real. Originality <laughs> and performing. And when I go to a show, man, like when we seen Fabulous, when they was rapping without the fucking words, I felt something different. I felt their energy. Like you mm-hmm. feel the song even more. Right. You right, know. Right. Right. And you take away that feeling. That that that, that vibe. <laughs> yeah, you take away that vibe when you rap over like, the words. Okay, yeah. You know, this is rapping to me. Yeah. This is not just you know. What I I'm love saying? that when they do that like that, man. Shouts out to the real MCs. But this Shout is gonna to be a us. close battle if it ever was to happen, Jay Z and Nas. Man. That's not gonna happen. We know it's not gonna happen, but y'all comment below, man. Let us know who y'all think will win the battle, man, between Jay Z and Nas, man. I see been... Nas. I see Nas. I'm gonna go with Jay. I think because he got more radio hits. He got yeah. more radio hits. I just recently went through the shit. He, he got a lot of radio we'll hits, but I go, you. but I feel Big Nas. Pippin. I feel H-10 Nas, Ezo, you know, like I said, never big. Change. I still hear oh, a lot man. of big out of Jay Z bite. But this ain't gonna have nothing to do with when they perform them songs. For real. They ain't gonna do the songs he built off of a Biggie with. You know? All his tracks got Biggie verse, some of Biggie verse. <laughs> nah, 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 90% nah. of them, except the new you ones. You bug it now, not 90%. Except the, except the new ones. The new ones, the only one that ain't got. <laughs> a little bit of big in that motherfucker. Damn, that's messed up. But well, Wolverine going with um, Nas. And I'm gonna go, with, go with Ho, Jay Z. You know. But um, y'all comment below, man. Let us comment, know. Comment, let us know who y'all think is better. And who y'all gonna go with. All right, man. We gotta move on to other hip hop news, man. Yesterday in the uh, Double XL world, man, they had four female rappers. Mm. But they said. One of the female rappers from the 90s, early 2000s, got to go in all their music. They had The Brat, Foxy Brown, Eve, Trina, and Little Kim Wolverine. Man. Out of that list. I got to think long go. about that. Hmm? I ain't got to think long about that. <laughs> Foxy, get your ass out of here. Fuck out of here. Get out of here. She, here. she got to go because she was a carbon copy of little kim you know what i'm saying you were fake you tried to copy kim style you know when she came they came out at the same time she want to be in swimsuits she want to try to that was that just, hood that was just was, jay-z trying to bite off of big and junior mom <laughs> yeah. i tell you all this jay-z biting this man it don't make no sense yo it don't make no sense but i'm telling you oh, man. but the thing about it is though foxy Oh no no was written by a lot of writers. Yeah, she didn't write it. She didn't write a lot of her Avic, stuff. You know Nas, what I'm saying? The LL Cool J. All these cats helped her on the run. She and Az. She had nothing original. You check the credits, man. Mad writers for her, man. That's why she gotta go, man. Jay Z wrote that track with her. Uh, but the, uh, ain't no nigga. Yeah, you know and and uh, uh, which one that was in the uh, with the old school in the ballroom. Mm. No, the one where they had the flashing lights and the different color lights. Oh, man. Mm. Dang, I can't remember that Il Nana. Y'all comment and remind me of that She She has song. some records on there, but she she don't got enough records on there to stand the test of time with these other ladies. You know what she I'm only saying? got one album. She got two. Two man, albums. China Dog. You know. Yeah, but her, 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 her career flopped. You know, yeah, with her a, fighting the nail lady, the Chinese lady, going to jail, man. losing her hearing, falling off stage, you know, come back and can't rap and Karma can't hit hear the her beat. Heart. Yeah, Carmen went circle, man. Knocked her up out of there, man. Now, so we're knocking her out of there. <laughs> yeah, she gotta go. She gotta go. <laughs> So, bye, El Nana. Bye. Yeah, like I said, she was a carbon copy of Kim. Kim was original, wrote her own shit, stood her. That hardcore album, man, that will blow anything Foxy Brown did. You know what I'm saying? Blow that shit out of the water. Foxy didn't write a lot of her stuff. Well, that's what we just said. I just named the so, niggas that was writing her shit. Yeah. You know? But y'all, man, y'all got to comment below. Let us know who y'all feel that should be kicked out the group. You feel me? You know, we well, had some the of Brad, some of these people Trina, like, yeah. Eve, you know. I mean, the brat. She will be. No. Trina will be the next one out of there. I don't know about that. I don't know. Yeah, maybe the brat. Yeah, but y'all put it down in order who y'all feel, man. Maybe the brat. Yeah, I'll say the brat too for the second one. one. Definitely. Because Trina had some fire. She Slip and mad. slide, yeah. She, she had, had a lot of albums. Trina had mad albums. She was doing a lot of her own. You know, she was like a Kim. 
But Trina, she had her own sexual mm -hmm. seductive style. Yeah, you she know? had her own style. She didn't yeah. sound like him. She, You're like, right. she didn't try to sound like a Brooklyn girl. She, she, she did sounded a, like a, a Miami woman. girl. Yeah. Yep. And she had them albums. She got a lot of songs. Because her Eve battled recently. She we, killed Trick Daddy on all his... <laughs> see, that's the thing about it. Boxing didn't kill the niggas that she was on the tracks right. with. Right. They helped her. They helped her. Yep. Trina... She pretty much killed Trick Daddy on all, all the time. The, all the time. And her album's killing his. Sold more, way more. Yeah, without she's a her, artist. Without man. her, man, slip it, man, and he lost Slip and Slide. Yeah, that's messed up. Yeah, that was messed up. But yeah, Trina stay on here, though. She, yeah. she broke, she branched off and continued to do her own thing. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But shout outs to all the ladies that's on the list, man. But y'all all were fire at some point in time Word in your career. Were. You know, we hate to kick anybody off, but. Someone got to go. go. <laughs> <laughs> and Someone it's El Nada. Peace. Bye, baby girl. That right. Nana probably wasn't even that ill anyway. All right, man. On to other. Uh, we got to go to sports news, man. Yesterday, Terrell Owens was on um, Shannon Shot podcast, Shay Shay. You know, and he sat down with him. You know, and uh, I'm going to read you what they said in the article, man. The two have had a long exchange publicly jabbed with Dominic McNabb, accusing T.O. of being responsible for the dual split, you know, because of T.O.'s behavior, he stated. He couldn't wait to tell his side of the story, claiming uh, Dominic McNabb pushed him to, um, you know, get out the egos, you know, they say he signed um, Brian Westbrook instead of him, and it was because of McNabb and Shannon Sharp eyes, like, if there was anybody you want to fight in this world, who would it be? And he was like, Donovan McNabb, you want to beat his ass. Again. <laughs> Again. He was like, Again. the first time it was a little scuffle in the locker room. Yeah. And dog, Harrison broke it up. You know, but he said he had he had a demon in his eyes, man. They he said he was possessed. ready. He was possessed. It was, he was, it was tired of it. He was tired of it. He was tired of it. Donovan McNabb, man, he was, a, he was one of them. Clown or ass clown, niggas. Man. And he fucked up the Super Bowl. Man, man. he was a clown. Because man. they said the night before he was drunk. I seen you know, him. I'm going to let you tell the story. The night before he was drunk, you know, they lost the Super Bowl because he threw up on the goal line and threw that damn interception and messed the Super Bowl rings up for T.O. and himself. And you was know what I'm saying? But Ruth ain't going to tell you the story about how this nigga got drunk the got night drunk before. Got drunk the night before. <laughs> Me, my sister, and my cousin Scoop, we all went down to the bar downtown Philadelphia. That's when it was right before the Super Bowl. We seen him in the club, him and T.O., and Donovan was drinking like a wet fish. <laughs> <laughs> he was drinking. I'm Word. trying to tell you, he was taking him down. Yeah, was I'm telling you, we <laughs> asked my man. <laughs> Tell you. And that's why they lost that Super man. Bowl because he was drunk, man, man, the night before, man. And T.O. was beat. Yeah, T.O. was on, out there beasting their ass man. with nine catches, 122 yards on a broken leg. On a broken you know what I'm saying? Yep. They had one yard to go, man, and this nigga throws up and throws the interception. You know? That's Jamie's uh, team, bro. So. <laughs> yeah. But I was rooting for them, though. I was I wanted I was to see. I wanted, him. I I wanted, wanted, him wanted them to win that ring, one. man. Yeah. That was your only chance. He ain't never get no And then he never man. do nothing afterwards. Neither one of them. Like no, neither one of them did. <laughs> it was a rock. T.O. got one in San Francisco. No, he don't. No, he didn't. They he traded got no him. rings, They traded bro. him right before. Dude, that was his only chance to win a Super Bowl. That was his second chance. The first time chance. in San Francisco. He didn't go with them, man. They, they, uh, they closed him. That was um, Crabtree, man. Right. He didn't go with them. Yeah, we got Crabtree and Randy Mars. T.O. was on that team. Outside. But, um... He would have he pounded out McNabb, though. Yeah. But y'all set that up, man. Or, or celebrity boxing match. That's what I'm saying. A celebrity boxing match. They trade for it. Yeah. yeah get it on, man. Celebrity boxing match. T.O. versus uh, McNabb. I mm -hmm. like to see that. Me I too. like to see it. T.O. pound him out. Right, right, right. Word, though. Y'all comment below, let us know, man. Y'all want to see Donovan McNabb fight T.O. Terrell Owens, you know, in a celebrity yeah. boxing match. So you can so. Get it on. Yeah. Yeah, who would win for Donovan, a Donovan, bro, won't even, uh, <laughs> won't even take that contract, man. He'd be scared, man. He'll yeah, he will. Yeah, hey, so. McNabb was a real cur, though. I just like the fact that he was a, he was a black quarterback in the league at that yeah. time. So I had to give him a little bit of homage. 
And I liked the Eagles, but I wasn't an Eagle fan. I liked them at some point in time. I mean, I thought you liked them when they had Michael Vick. Yeah. That's when you liked them, but. Uh, but I wanted them to win that Super Bowl. I showed a trip for them and put money on them. Yeah. I wanted them they to win. They lost like three points, man. But he threw that interception. All right, y'all, man. On to the shout outs, man. I want to give a big shout out to Big Wolf for having me DJ the night one month open mic party last night, man. It's a lot of young artists out here trying to do their thing. Definitely. But one thing I want to say about artists, man, I want y'all to practice y'all craft and come to the venue prepared. You know, come with your shit on the flash drive. Don't come with your phone. Can you hook it up? Can I email you? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Be professional. Man. Man, man, Def Jam out there, man, they not gonna sign you seeing that. Because these cats, dog, but let me tell you though, man, these cats think that they're already on. Yeah. You're not on, man. You're not even heard. Nobody heard you in the streets, my dude. I don't see you, you, you talking about you got mad streams and all this. Y'all act like y'all ain't on. Y'all still gotta perform for your fans. Exactly. You can't attract more fans if you, people gonna turn off soon they see you up there rocking over your music. Like, man, I don't know this track. Right. Convince man. me on that. Convince me. Yeah. But that's all I want to say on y'all, man. Make sure y'all come prepared to the show. Be professional, man. You know? Be ready. Make sure y'all stream Gun Rules Finest, The Movement, Volume 3, on Spotify, Apple, Tidal, YouTube, Music, every all the streaming Get sites. It. Well, friend, you got any shout outs? To my city. To the city, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Love y'all. We love y'all. One love. Peace. Peace.